Hello my friends and welcome back. Thank you very much for being with me again today. Yesterday I made a video with another regarding another attack, a drone attack perpetrated by Ukraine deep inside the Russian territory. Again the Engels air base, military air base was uh, attacked by Ukrainian drones. Uh, yesterday I didn't have much information on that. Uh, it was just uh, it happened a few hours before I made maybe two hours before I made the video. Well, now I have an update on what the Russians are saying. It happened there. The other uh, article that I uh, had yesterday, last night, to more precise, be more precise. Uh, I think it, it came, came from Reuters. So now it comes from the Russians. This article comes from uh, Sputnik. It's from today, the 26th of December, 2022. Russian uh, Ministry of Defense says that three Russian soldiers were killed as Ukrainian drone downed over military airbase. So the title, what I get out of the title is three soldiers, Russian soldiers somehow died as the Ukraine drone one was blown up in the air and it fell. This one I am supposed to uh, believe it happened and if you read the article that's what you are supposed to believe it happened. I have many questions just and I'm pretty sure you have too. The incident comes as Russia continues its special military operation in Ukraine which was launched on February 24th. Remember put your Russian uh, filters on your little glasses take the Ukrainians down all right, or in the Western one down. When I'm using uh, Ukrainska Pravda or uh, Reuters, put those glasses, those filters on, okay? Because they all use their little weasel propaganda. So, we're gonna figure out what happened, don't worry. I know you're not worried, but anyway. The Russian military Ministry of Defense has stated that air defense systems downed a Ukrainian unmanned aerial vehicle UAV over Russia's Engels Air Base on Monday. And I'm quoting, the Ministry of Defense said that on December 26, at about 1.35 Moscow time, on December 25, the air defenses of the Russian airspace forces shot down a Ukrainian UAV as it was approaching the Engels military airfield in the Saratov region at low altitude. They said yesterday that Saratov is about 750 kilometers away from the border. So that's 550 or something like this miles, something like 500 miles, that's maybe 500 miles from the border <clears throat> with uh, Ukraine where the war started. I'm losing my voice or something. According to the Ministry of Defense, yes I am, a three Russian servicemen who were at the airfield at the airfield had been fatally injured as a result of falling wreckage from the Ukrainian drone. <laughs> this is like that uh, accidental S-300 missile, Ukrainian missile that fell right onto um, Hungarians. Remember that one? The Hungarians, the two that died because of that accident, the S-300 missile that was shooting uh, uh, incoming uh, Russian missiles from Belarus, I'm assuming, because there's no other way it came from a different direction, and it fell right on two people in a village with about 15 houses or something. Really. <laughs> and there, there were three guys over there playing poker and the debris just fell on them and, um, you know, they, they, they were actually fatally injured. Okay, well. The aviation equipment, including, including Russian strategic bombers, was not damaged in the incident, the Minister of Defense added. <clears throat> on, on December 5, the Ukrainian military tried to attack Russian military airfields in Saratov and Ryazan regions with Soviet-made jet drones. Uh, they not only tried, they succeeded. The Russian air defense systems intercepted the UAVs, but three Russian soldiers were killed by falling debris from the drones. We're talking about now. Two aircraft also received minor damages. On the same day, the Russian army launched a massive attack on infrastructure facilities in Ukraine. The attack came amid Russian ongoing special military operation, tra-la-la, blah, blah, blah. 
and uh, it doesn't say anything else about any retaliatory moves coming from the Russians. Again, this article they say in the Saratov uh, area. <coughs> and if I go to the, I'm going to lose my voice right here. <laughs> if I go to um, the article I had yesterday, they said that uh, it's uh, it's been uh, Saratov is 700 and some miles. But let me give you the exact distance. Okay, from the yesterday's video. The airbase near Saratov is about 730 kilometers, that is 450 miles southeast of Moscow. And I looked on the map yesterday, and if you look at, uh, so Ukraine, if you go, Ukraine is a little bit low, below where Moscow is, you know, on the uh, um, latitude. So then you, you go like west to east. If you go just straight, you will go to Saratov. <clears throat> if you go a little bit northeast, you're going to go to Moscow. So this is 730 kilometers. In the previous uh, strike, strikes, which was in December 5 or something, I think they said, uh, the Russians said that those drones were coming at a low altitude, and the drones, those drones are from the Soviet time. They were built in 1970s. 70s, 80s, they, they were updated, upgraded in um, 1990s, I think, and I think in 2006, they said. That's the article that I covered on uh, December 5 or 6 this year. And um, also the Russians said that those uh, drones are capable of traveling to up to 1,000 kilometers. Now, if the, the, this, this were 730 so you add about, let's say, 50 kilometers from the border where it probably was launched. So that means about 800. If you go from where it was hit and you put it toward Moscow, these drones can easily hit Moscow. From the front, front line until, uh, I mean, to, the, to Moscow is less than 1,000 kilometers. So Moscow is well within the reach of these uh, weapons. That's why in the article I uh, covered last night, I said that uh, should Russia panic. I personally do not believe the story the Russians are feeding me, that gas was hit in the air and the debris fell on the people. Not impossible, but it's very low uh, you know, probability. It's a possibility, low possibility, but it's also even lower probability. I think the, the missile, and a missile, I would call them missile, they call them drones. I think it hit the base, the air base, and I don't think it was only one. Because uh, the yesterday article, uh, they stated that, that, were, that there were um, multiple uh, explosions. Now, it's true that multiple explosions could be, you know, the defense systems uh, shooting in the air or something, but uh, I don't... Uh, I don't go with that. I don't believe it. But let's see what these guys are saying. Explosion. And an explosion. No, it was one explosion. My bad. No, it says two explosions took place. So news agency R RBC Ukraine News reported two explosions took place. So uh, and it says blasts reported at Angles Air Base. So the Russians say it was one. But you can say, okay, one is the boom from air, air, air defense, and the other one is the boom where it hits it. So let's say it's two. But again, I think it was more than two. But anyway, the point is not that there were one, two, or 15. The point is these guys were able to send those missiles this distance within uh, Russia. They can hit anything they want. That's the, that's the message. And uh, I don't, as I said, I don't believe this were down. I think it was just boom and that's it. And that is very concerning for the U uh, Russians. <clears throat> I don't think that the Ukrainians will uh, hit, the, uh, hit Moscow. But uh, maybe they make this mistake. Why do I say mistake? I think that would anger Russia and uh, start fighting uh, or do something even worse than they've been do doing so far. 
and I don't think the Ukrainians want that. But when you're desperate and you're cornered, you don't care, you know. So uh, probably even if the Americans tell them don't do it, uh, they would not listen, probably would not listen. Remember, the Ukrainians received a green light from the Americans to hit inside Russia. So all these were approved and probably uh, directed and coordinated and all that by the American satellites and American uh, uh, intelligence and all that. So I, I don't think it was just a A to Z Ukrainian uh, you know, enterprise, but I don't know. We'll find out in... 10 years <laughs> and also it depends who wins here which I don't think uh, anybody would win but it's gonna have the upper hand think I know the Ukrainians will not win unless Putin and his uh, you know the government of Russia current government of Russia is taken out like gone not uh, oh let's gonna uh, do some little trials here mm -mm. Uh, thank you very much for being with me again today Stay strong, stay smart, look for the truth, and be just.